Here is the 2023 Toyota RAV4 Prime XSC with the technology package. The most popular RAV4 compact crossover from Toyota is available as the Toyota RAV4 Prime, a plug-in model. But the RAV4's major assets are its comfort and efficiency, with roomy cabins for adults, lots of cargo space, and a quiet and comfortable ride. The crossover overall also appears better. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the RAV4 Prime, what safety features you get with this RAV4 Prime trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Starting with the different trims you can get when it comes to the Toyota RAV4 Prime, you can either get the SE or the XSE trim, and each of these trims will have their own unique features and options as well as exterior looks and interior looks. If you end up going for the non-plug-in hybrid RAV4, then you can get the LE, XLE, SE, Trail, XSC, and the limited trims. Now as for the safety features you will get with the RAV4 Prime XSE trim, this includes the blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. And since this XSE has the technology package, this is also going to give you the intelligent clearance sonar with rear cross traffic brake and the bird's eye view camera. Also, with the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, you also get the full speed range dynamic radar cruise control, right and left turn oncoming pedestrian detection and braking, lane tracing assist with enhanced line and road recognition, left turn oncoming vehicle detection and braking, lane departure alert with steering assist and road edge detection, and the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, cyclist detection, and the nighttime pedestrian detection. Taking a look at what powers the RAV4 Prime, it has the 2.5 liter 4 cylinder hybrid synergy drive engine. This is going to give you 302 horsepower with 165 pound foot of torque. Fuel economy wise, you will get about 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 6.4 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Towing wise, you can tow about 2,500 pounds with the RAV4 Prime. And in terms of how much EV only kilometers you get with these, it's up to about 68 kilometers of range. And total combined with gas and EV, it's about 979 kilometers. Charging wise, with a 240 volt outlet, this will take about 2 hours and 30 minutes. However, the battery does charge even when driving, with regenerative braking of course, but not as much as physically charging it. The front of the RAV4 Prime has kind of an aggressive look to it, and at the bottom, there's a satin aluminum trim with these corner slots, where it looks like you could fit fog lights of some sort. Above this, the whole section has gloss black, which which I think looks super sleek. And in the grille area, there's even more gloss black along with the open diamond pattern look. Plus there's the front sensors in the grille and on the bumper as well. There's more chrome trim around the top section of the grille and the Toyota badge which is in blue indicating this is a hybrid. Right under that is the front facing camera. And on the corners of the bumper are these super thin vertical LED accent lights surrounded by more gloss black. Then you've got these bi LED projector headlights that help with the front of the look of the RAV4 Prime. Coming to the side of the RAV4, you'll notice the sharp styling of this vehicle. And up top, because this has the tech package, you get the full panel roof, along with the gloss black roof rails. And the top section of the windows has more chrome trim, with body color door handles as well. The side mirrors are body color and black, with the turn signal and camera underneath. Also along the sides will be this chrome plug-in hybrid badge. Even around the wheels, there's more gloss black trim rather than that cheap plastic look. And the same thing goes along the sides of the vehicle, there's more gloss black, and then there's this chrome all-wheel drive badge as well. And with the XSE trim, you do get these nice looking 19 inch chrome and black alloy wheels. One thing that I did notice is that the XSE trim does have a slightly higher ground clearance than the SE trim. And in the US, the XSE trim has even more from what I've noticed. You'll also notice on the XSE trim, it does have the red suspension compared to the SE that it does not. And on the rear door, you'll notice that there's this gloss black trim piece that goes to the rear of the vehicle, which gives it a nice little touch. Coming around back, just like the front, there's a ton of gloss black back here as well. And at the bottom, the bumper is all gloss black with the rear sensors and reflectors. On the tailgate, you've got the RAV4 badge in chrome and black, then the Prime logo in red, and then the Toyota badge, which is just like the front one, followed by the XSE badge, which is also in chrome, and the area above the Toyota badge 
badge has this satin aluminum trim that does go into the rear tail lights. There's also this rear spoiler with the brake light that does add to the look of the rear end. Opening up the tailgate, which is also foot activated, you can see there's a ton of room back here for all of your things. Back here is also the JBL speaker that does come with the tech package along with a 120 volt and a 12 volt outlet. Lifting up the carpet area will be the spare tire and the roadside kit. And coming into the rear, it's a pretty clean setup and kind of gives you the off-road rugged vibes. At the bottom is small space and the speaker which has this unique designing with the RAV4 written on it. The middle section is covered in soft X material and there's more satin chrome trim along with the red accent stitching. And you've also got the rear heated seat button on both of the sides. And there's also this aluminum door sill piece with a bit of designing on it. As for the rear seats, these are the soft deck seats and definitely look nice and feel nice. You've got the red accents all over the seats which gives the interior a nice little touch. These seats aren't too soft or too hard but have the right amount of cushion. And like I was mentioning, the rear seats do come heated as well. And in the middle will be the cup holders once you pull that down. Behind the driver and passenger seats are matte pockets for more small storage. And on the rear console will just be the venting and USB ports. Coming to the front of the RAV4, it's just like the rear but with a slightly bigger area at the bottom and then the usual window and side mirror controls along with the driver memory seat buttons. As for the front seats, these are like the rear and just as comfy. Plus, not only do these come heated but with the tech package, they're also ventilated. And with the tech package, you get these type of seats but without that, these seats do look a bit different. The front seats are also power adjustable and up here is this RAV4 door sill piece with the same similar designing as the rear one. Underneath are the pedals, gas cap, and hood latch release. Above will be a few buttons like the cluster dimmer, auto high beam, windshield defroster, camera, heated steering wheel, trip, and the tailgate buttons. There's also this small cubby for storage and the steering wheel is manual adjustable. Entering inside the vehicle, you've got the JBL speakers on the front pillars and the dashboard is covered in this soft material. Also with the tech package, you get the heads up display which is super convenient. Plus you've got the fully digital cluster area which is a must have nowadays I think. On here you can see the hybrid and EV information and the speed on the other side. Plus each of these sections including the center area you can view different information about the RAV4 so there's many ways to customize this. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and is heated like I mentioned. On the left side will be the cluster, phone, volume and Bluetooth controls. The other side has the cruise control, adaptive cruise control, lane keep and media controls. Also this has the paddle shifters that also come with the tech package. Now behind are the high beam, lighting and indicator controls. Also the front and rear wiper controls. The center armrest has more red stitching and opening this up there's some decent space in here with two USB ports. In front will be the front cup holders. Then you've got the trail, auto EV, EV charge hold buttons, and also this knob for different modes. Then the electronic parking brake and auto hold. The shifter is also wrapped in leather and has red stitching. In front of all of this is the wireless charging pad with a 12 volt outlet and a USB port. Then is the traction control button and the front heated and vented seat controls along with the 120 volt button. Then are the usual temperature controls and as for the touchscreen, you have this setup here which is super easy to use and is the same across the Toyota lineup. You have this map area that you do have to subscribe to but you can also use your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto for that. Then is the music section for the radio and whatnot. Next is the phone pairing section. Then the vehicle section which shows you some information about your vehicle. Finally is the settings section and you can further fine tune other things about the car and like I mentioned about the camera button, you have different angles you can see either while driving under 15 kilometers or when you're stopped in park. Up top, not only do you have a normal rear view mirror, but it's also a digital one. There's also the interior lights, SOS, sunroof, and sunshade controls. And like I was mentioning, this has the full panel roof. And here is the key fob and what it looks like for the Toyota RAV4 Prime. Now coming around to the passenger side, the dashboard has a small open storage area. And of course, you've still got the usual glove compartment for space as well. There was no window sticker for this Toyota RAV4 Prime XSE, but this does start from about $58,000 Canadian, and this may be minus any dealer discounts and manufacturing rebates if they're being offered. Well, that does it for the review on this 2023 Toyota RAV4 Prime XSE. Let me know what you think of this. Do you love it or do you hate it?